हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई अकेडमी दिस इज लेक्चर एटीन ऑन माइक्रो प्लेसमेंट इन फ्लोर प्लानिंग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स इन फिजिकल डिजाइन वर्ल्ड लेट अस गो थ्रू ऑल द टॉपिक्स दैट वी हैव कवर्ड सो फार दिस विल हेल्प अस इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेयर वी आर एंड वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड सो फार दिस विल ऑल सीम बोरिंग दो बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड हेल्पफुल ऑल्सो इन द लॉन्ग रन as we have said earlier if studies were so easy then everyone would have topped in the exams but that is not the case our effort here is to make the topics less boring and more interesting to help you understand better so please do ask if you have any questions or any doubts so far this is the summary of what all covered in the small 18 crispy lectures in the series and if you want to go through them to understand in depth it would be the part of playlist and we will provide the link of that playlist in the description here as you can see we have divided the all topics into five different categories here and these are cmos basics logic gate conversion pd input sanity checks and last is import design our expectation is you have basic understanding of all these topics and if not please go through the series it will not much take up time of yours as all the videos are short and crisp in previous lecture we learnt about port placement which is first step in the floor planning we also understood about the checks that are needed to be done before we proceed to the next stage here is a quick checklist of classifying port placement as good enough for moving to the next step if you want to understand in depth please visit lecture 17 today we will go for macro placement which is very important concept in physical design stage and it is very cru crucial for the further stages by definition of book macros are hard ips which is designed by the ip team hard ip means it is an intellectual property which is designed by ip team these macros have fixed functionality and these are part of your design in the form of lef or gds these are already optimized for power performance and area these are the three targets that meet that are to be met by any design team and in our design these are black box you can see that clearly and we can place them like we have already placed you can rotate them so you can macro rotation is also possible we will see that what it means in later video and you can also move them for placement or optimization of any kind but you cannot see anything inside it and before understanding the macro placement guidelines let us see how macro will look like in a 3d shaped world this is a 2d version where you have length and width but you cannot see how height it is and in the 3d world you can see the height also this is the height so let's say that this is your core area this is just an example so if this is your core this is a placeable area you can see that your macro is black boxed and now in core area consider it as a floor and everything can be placed over here we have placed two macros back to back and there is certain spacing in between them now in 2d you can see only length and breadth here you can see height also so here is an example of very few standard cells also placed and you can clearly see that height of macro is more and standard cell is less the question is why if you already know the answer you might want to pause the video and write in the comment section the answer to that is very fundamental and simple that while making a standard cell substrate which is base and lower metal routing is used to route the standard cells so based on the company naming convention it could be m0 m1 and m2 these three are the lower metal layers in which standard cell routing is done please remember that this is very important and for macros routing can go to higher metal layer also so for example comparatively higher metal layer could be m3 m4 or m5 also so if you are using these higher metal layers for routing in the macro this routing will be blocked and already present inside the macro since it is now blocked these routing resources are blocked over the macros so wherever it is placed it will block the routing resources of your core over it because you cannot now use it it is already used by the macro and that is why the height also becomes more 
so here is a relative example here that you can see so let's say if you have m3 horizontal so this is your m3 over that vertical m4 and over that if you have m5 so like this these are the resources which could be present over the standard cells and can be used for routing but over the macro you cannot use it so it will be blocked and hence your height of the macro is also comparatively more to the standard cells but if by chance router has intersected this routing resource of m3 m4 m5 with the macro it is called as a short and that concept we will see later on but let us now focus on macro placement guidelines here are certain guidelines that needs to be followed while placing the macros let us say this is your core area and you have certain pins here on the side of this bottom and you want to place the macros so you will not place macros very close to the io ports because you need certain routing resources for communicating inside the chip properly if you place your macros like this over the core area near to the ios then you are blocking this area and routing will not be proper for this io interface and you will face difficulty later on and congestion might come and hence the common guideline is not to do this not to do this and instead place it on the corner side of other area so like this you can do but this is not hard and fast rule you can place closer to the ios also this can be done only if you have timing critical path for macros you have any timing critical path timing critical path if your interface is and your design is such that you have timing critical paths in macros which are talking to the interface so timing critical path in macros with respect to your interface which means ios if you have any timing critical path for ios then you can do this otherwise this it is not recommended second thing that you should not do is so first is you should place macros in the corner and not near to the not over the ios you can say not exactly near to the ios you can place macros like this also if you have timing critical path which are near to the ios but not blocking so your macros should not block the interface should not block interface second thing that you should be taking care of is your macros it should be placed such that it is not in the center macros should not be in the center macros should not be in center let us assume that you have placed a macro like this over the center what will happen is it will block lower level resources in the core and if you have any cells which are placed like this then those cells which are talking to cells here the routing resources will be detouring so let us say that this cell wants to talk to this cell the signals will go like this and that is a detour so it results in detour and that is what you do not want let us assume that there are certain connections which you are aware of from the previous designs then you have to maintain the connections with respect to certain physical cells which are present in the design so let's say that there are certain cells which should be placing like this and like this so you want that macros should sit very near to them so that you have to respect because you know that already from the existing design and your design which you are designing is the derivative of it so you will follow the same guideline over here also and hence you will place macros very near to these physical cells so connections with respect to cells you have to respect them which are in the existing design already now we know that macros block the resources for certain lower layers like m1 to m4 or m0 to m4 so that uh, after that if you want to make connections for your standard cells with respect to macro so macros have their pins 
and those pins are the in the top most layer of the macro so let's say if your macro has a top most layer in m4 so your pins of the macro will be in m4 so macro pins will be in m4 layer and it would be something like this so it could be either in center or in the corners it is like this and you have to make con make your placement of the macro such that your pins get enough room for routing so your next point should be macro pins should not be blocked and you should have enough room for the macro pins to be routed with respect to standard cells so it should not be blocked for example you should not place your macro near to the io boundary or core boundary and your pins are coming out like this so at this point you are blocking them and ideally you should place like this and like this but never like this because you are blocking the communication of this macro with this core and hence whatever the routes that should come to the pins they will be either congested or blocked totally and it will result in shorts and congestion next very important thing that we need to take care here is related to macro orientation so macro orientation should be correct what it means is if you have certain cells which are placed in the rows so macro orientation should be correct for that which means let's say if there are these are the rows which we are presenting here so in this row only your macros are placed and once it is placed the tool will cut the row and standard cell placement will happen only in the core area where the rows are present so for example let's say that these are the standard cells and for these standard cells we have we can see that it is clearly aligning with the row and it it means that when your design is continuous and all the substrate is continuous at that time you can move you can rotate your macros only in xy or you can say horizontal or rotation is possible it is a general guideline that horizontal rotation is okay which means you can flip your macros like this and it means yeah your macros can flip like this this flip is possible and this pins can move and come over here but you cannot move your macros you cannot rotate the macros such that your pin comes in top uh, top or bottom side for this macro why because if that happens then this base continuity which is you can see that here all the substrate of this standard cells which are placed in this row will be continuously coming up but if you are moving this pins uh, to the downside all what what all the standard cells which are which should be aligning with this substrate because there would be something inside this macro also there should be some standard cells which might have been aligned but since you have rotated it and your pins have come downside this rotation that rotation of 90 degrees or 270 degrees that would have caused the uh, improper substrate continuity and that would be difficult for the tool and design will not be manufacturable after that hence this is a dfm rule you can say design for manufacturability rule that you should not rotate 90 degree or 270 degrees only 0 degree or 180 degrees is allowed this is allowed this is not allowed we do feel that orientation related concept need further explanation so if you have not fully understood the concept related to orientation we will come up with that in the uh, uh, more upcoming videos with full detail so you do not need to be worried about it if you have any further questions you can ask them in the comment section please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you